Hello, I'm going to do another Kamrata candy toy uh, figure review. Uh, I said I wasn't going to get these, but damn it, <laughs> Bandai won again. It was slightly reduced. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in the first four figures, you get. Um, I bet the next double pack you have like the orange uh, fruit tire and you know, game drive arms. I, I bet. Um, or at least the drive armor to go on some of the other figures. Uh, so you got drive uh, type speed, type wild, and type technic and machine chaser. Um, all of them have the same general information on the side. Candy has been removed from the Hong Kong versions because you got the sticker there because it's not sold in the candy store, maybe. But uh, I bought the candy toy version of the Summon Ride figurines and they add candy in them, so I'm not really sure what's going on. And inside so shows you all the other ones. Um, so, uh, but I'm really not going to get the other ones now because you'll see in a sec why. So, yeah, back to the box, pretty informative and all that. And uh, of course, inside the boxes, you do have instructions on where all the stickers go and yada yada yada, how to play the toy. So, uh, you can rip the boxes open. I'm not going to do that, but just so you can see a little bit inside, I'm going to put the light there. I'm going to focus. You can see that. Got like all the instructions inside, which uh, it's smart for them to do. Like you know, um, you don't have to pull the box apart to get it, like see it, but uh, you can, and it saves on paper, of course, and because it's just printed there. And on uh, one of them, uh, on type speed, uh, type speed actually has this nice little separate baggie that uh, they 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 open up quite easily, uh, and you know, just pull them open, which is uh, perfect for storing the sticker sheets inside. So. Uh, sticker sheet one again printed on metallic backing, which is nice, you know. Sticker sheet two, sticker sheet three, and sticker sheet four. Hmm. Uh, and and yeah, it says um, on the back of the box it says you can put. Well, they come off the car or something, so is there like a candy toy version of the car? I, don't, I haven't seen one uh, appear anywhere yet, so... Hmm... But anyway, uh, figure time. Type speed comes with the speed tire, of course, and... Uh, Justice Hunter. I think it's not Justice Hunter. I just look at the stickers if I'm wrong. No, I was right. Justice Hunter. So anyway, here's type speed. <laughs> It's the same scale as all the previous stuff, uh, because he's, uh, the basic mold has been the same. You can see these holes there where the shoulders are, because uh, you know this bit comes off. Uh, the this bit supposed to come off. Oh, look, oh. Uh, the pegs on it's been pegged on pretty tightly, so I can't really pull it off. But you know, it has all these pegs on the back, just like the Gaim ones. Um, to stop the articulation going too far, it has the same type of feet. Obviously, the mold is slightly different, but the overall thing is the same. So, I mean, you know, you could swap these around with Gaim figures and make weird figures, weird characters, which is fun. And of course, as always, it's made with model kit plastic so painting these would be funsies look it's got the same pegs and all that hmm. uh, so yeah uh, of course the head is the different part uh, the guy figures had a little neck joint and like like the head itself was connected to this neck like had a, <laughs> the neck on the head piece had a peg that pegs into this little slot that goes up and down uh, which gave it Pretty good range of articulation, whereas these guys, uh, they just have a little ball peg and the head just lost on the ball peg, which is still good, but it just feels a bit different, a bit weird compared to the other ones. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing, I think the, uh, you know, the Forze, well, I didn't have any of the Wizard ones, I did have one, the orange uh, double rocket Forze figure, so that was similar. But um, I do like the Gaim neck a lot more, this one just feels, feels adequate, but just a bit missing. Hmm. And unlike the soft final figure, there's a little hole there on his little um, head. Um, what do you call these wind things on cars? I forget them, but uh, it's there. Uh, Molly detail wise, he's done not too bad for one of these figures. Uh, like I said, there's a hole there on the helmet, so that's neat. Uh, all these little bits on the helmet are there. Um, the back does have all that machine stuff, but it's 
sort of a softer version. The soft vinyl stuff looks so much better. And, um, yep, yeah, it's got this uh, little uh, arm piece there and the belt, belt sun. And uh, he does have the three cars, I like the two cars attached to his legs, so they move with it. But it uh, would have been more fun, I guess, if it was just sort of hanging there, but oh well. It's a cheap figurine, so articulation, you got the ball peg there, so you can look down, up, sideways, kind of sideways, sort of his collar's blocking the way. And, um, yeah. Up, down, full rotation, one single joint there. Move back, um, rotating here. No torso articulation. Um, they really could have put a peg there for a torso articulation. That'd be the next step, I guess, to make it even better. Uh, Bob peg here for a little swiveling bit. So up, back, up. Um, can't really do a rider kick, so we can sort of do it. Single joint on the knee and a ball peg for the feet. It is. Uh, so yeah, the two tires. Um, yeah, there you go. So it is the first tire. Uh, there is no tire spinning gimmick. Uh, it cannot spin on its body. You can probably notice that it's got a peg on its chest, and that's because you just pegged the tires in. So this is the tire speed, most boring one. Uh, you just want to put the stickers on there and just paint a red line on it, and that'll be that. Uh, there is a peg there, so if, it, if you, you, can, you can attach it to the other ones, other figures. But um, like a universal size peg, but what it does when you attach them to this, you just pull this out. Uh, two pegs on the back, watch which side you're doing because this one's got a, like a little shoulder bit. And this one's identical on both sides, so that's fine. No, no, I think it's slightly different. Uh, that looks better. So there is type speed, and you're left with center wheel because this one, like I said, won't spin because you peg it in, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, it, it would do, I guess, but um, it seems a, seems like a big issue for me because uh, the whole point of these is to be a cheap version of the Tire Cocon series. And you got Justice Hunter, which at first looks, hey, look, it looks a bit different. It's got this cage thing, but you pop the cage off and you're left with a wheel. I mean, the molding is different, it's like a different t kind of tire, but um, you know, without the stickers, you stick that in and it'll just look pretty much the same. So. And there we go. Um, I mean, the molding is, like I said, a bit different, but it just looks a bit, <laughs> a bit the same. And because you can just hold that. It's like a shield and a cage in one. It's so stupid. Like some of these tires are really stupid. I think some of these are really stupid. But um, very creative. Like I give them points for like trying something new, but it's also kind of stupid. Um, this one's a bit tight. Come, on, come off. Oh, come off. There we go. Belt sound got a bit annoyed because I called him stupid. <laughs> uh, oops, wrong way. Now I'm a bit stupid. Okay, come on. Okay, so moving on from type speed. Hmm. Let's just stand type speed in the back somewhere. Now, here's the biggest issue is going to turn up. Let's see, Type uh, Wild also comes with the drill bit, so type. Okay, it also comes with um, uh, Type Wild also comes with Rumble, <laughs> rumble Dump. <laughs> Funny. It also comes with this the tire saw, which is super stupid, but um, I think the Lego figures can probably hold this, so that'll be that's, that's what I'll probably use it for, may, maybe. So saw is just a single colour, uh, the sticker sheet does not... No, it doesn't really have any stickers for it, so you're really going to have to paint these weapons yourself. Mm, the steering wheel does turn because it's just on the standard peg, so that's something, I guess. Put that in the back. Uh, <coughs> This is the Type Wild tire. It um, it's a single solid piece. You can't do anything else with it. And um, 
Well, you might be thinking, oh, that's fine because you know if you put you can't put type wild on type speedball anyway. So I, I guess it's okay, but it's, it it doesn't have, like it does affect the playability a bit, but it makes sense somewhat. Uh, this one, however, uh, this one you can't actually um, put him on anything else. He's got this peg there, so I guess he um, type speed can hold it, right? So he can hold that, but he can't use the uh, dump thing because there's nothing for this to peg on, um, like on his body, so he can't attach it. So um, the way this attaches on him is just the same, uh, so you know this one pegs in there, that's fine and dandy, pull this off, changes, tie coke on, mumble dump and that just pegs in there. And you think, okay, so the playability is a bit limited already. Um, and if you take the drill bit off, so he's, oops, his hand falls off. And so he's holding it. He's, and then, you know, you look to the side, he's got this big gap there. And it's just like, whoa, what the hell happened there? And that looks a bit weird. Um, it's nice that this piece is at least slightly painted, for those who don't want to paint anything. And it would have been nice if this drill was on a little peg but it's not so again it's a cheap toy I get it but it also bugs me a little bit as for the, as for the figure himself this one seems pretty loose the figure himself I mean the figure itself looks pretty good with the color scheme going on um that's all like a black version of like Master Chief so again head ball peg uh, up down full rotation um up is block because he has this big piece there Uh, this is not um, blocked in any way, so that's that's okay at least. Um, the back, the pattern is much more visible because it's not on the black body, and as always, they do have the little pegs there for the um, support stands. And note that his belt is, um, well, it's not painted, but it it almost looks like it's painted, almost. No, at least they can stand pretty well. Next, we've got type technique with um, fire braver tire. Stop. Oops. There's type technique. The tire, um, type technique tire is actually painted. Hooray! And has this big thing on the back. I guess it's for. Uh, for it to look more accurate on this body, cause when, but that thing you can remove, so you can put them on type speed, but then still peg there, so a bit silly. Um, but yeah, it's the same tight design as the uh, type speed stuff, so you can unpeg those. And so let's just do that, let's just quickly plug this on him. Uh, but you probably notice there's a huge gap on this you know, still piece of tire on the main piece right here so that's something uh, of course this is to aid the articulation or as he won't have an, uh, barely any articulation on his body uh, his head is not as limited as you think it would be uh, he does come with whoops get back on there he does come with the door gun which is just a single black piece of plastic and also missing plastic on the other side. So it's like, hey, it looks pretty on the side. Oh, it looks terrible on this side. Uh, this piece keeps falling off. Why? Why does it do that? Oh, the shoulders keep bumping into it. That's not good. So you really, so actual articulation is bump. Can't move his hands up. Oh, oh well. Take this off uh, just to see it on uh, type speed. See how it goes. It um, it sort of plugs in. Sort of. Speed technique or something, and there's a huge gap there. It looks bad. So. Plug all this back stuff back on. I'll put that to the side for now. Of course, you have uh, this fire braver, and this piece is sadly not articulated or even the soft rubbery plastic. It's just a single big solid piece painted white. So, 
Uh, why didn't, I didn't know why they didn't just use white piece of plastic because it's actually black piece of plastic. So that just plugs in there. You can I guess you can turn it. Um, I'll just use the front side just to demonstrate it. It's like has a big pokey thing on his chest. Ooh, can't even turn it. Uh, is this also loose? No, this one doesn't bump off uh, when you move the arms. So that's <laughs> that's annoying. Come on, come on. Mm, that was a lot tighter than the, the Technique tire. Um, Gloss on type speed, it'll look like this. <laughs> and on type wild, you can just plug this in. Now, this is actually one thing that's slightly better than the Thai Gogon series is that it's not loose it's because it's peg tight peg. So you can actually rotate it. Hooray! And you can use it as a crutch. Sort of. So, uh, that's that. So, those are all three um, drive figures and their uh, tires. Now, uh, Obviously, then now you have pretty much all his main accessories. About a lot, um, some of the wheels that are missing, like like uh, Midnight Shadow, and Max Flare seems a bit odd. But um, I guess those will come in like packs of the, uh, the 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 bigger double packs, so you get loads of wheels there. I imagine. Uh, so here's okay. Finally, Machine Chaser, which is probably the best of the bunch, just by default because he's Machine Chaser. Um, So there he is, uh, he has his little uh, gun. And uh, they have molded it in the slot for the you know, little car, so, um, so that's cool. Uh, he looks like looking to unpeg that, so that's cool. Um, we can also can unpeg this side, yes, so it's just like the Gaim figures. So he could put like Gaim's fruit arms on him, I guess I'll have to take a few photos of that, that'd be fun. But. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, his articulation is a bit limited because he has this big, like, collar on his back. But his back molding is pretty excellent, I think, for a figure like this. So he can't really look up, but he can look down, sort of, uh, sideways, a bit sideways. Uh, rotate, not fully, and his head pops off. Uh, arms have pretty much no restriction. Well, it's a little bit on his, his helmet horn thing. And yet there goes another pig. Come on. Get back on. So he's he's all in all really okay because um, he does have that peg on the back for the tires to go on the back. So you could put like Justice Hunter on, on his back. Oh, try what? It doesn't peg. But 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 uh, these wheels are supposed to be interchangeable. Like I thought I'm sure one of these pegs pegged on there before. Oh, well, never mind. Um. You can pretend that he's got Justice Hunter on his back, but it just falls off. Never mind, I thought they pegged on earlier, just I was mistaken. But uh, you, have all, you have a hole there, a peg there, another hole there for the stand, but you can like attach all these things to him. So his weapon is kind of confusing, uh, for me anyway. Um, okay, so these comes in, come in three main pieces in the bag. Uh, you have the wing piece. Uh, this whip or sting piece and this main sort of shield piece. So in order to make his uh, weapons, uh, you peg it in and now you have the first form. Um, he's got a peg on his hands, on his other hands, so uh, only on, on that side of his hand, so he can't like hold it in his other hand. So you peg that in and there you go. You got the, uh, I believe this is, uh, which one's this one? It's so much stuff. Uh, if I got that, no, I've got that the other way around. This is meant to be the because he's got bat, uh, spider, and like a scorpion thing. Let's see how does he hold that one? Okay, it should be this way. There we go. So first we have this one. Um, yay, I guess. And then next one we have, okay, flip that around.
Okay, so that one would... I don't know what that one's supposed to be. This one's meant to be the bat, I guess. You got this one, it's like psh, psh. And then finally, you have the one with the uh, little whip or sting on it. His hands keep falling off. Um, right, where's the sting gone? So, this one's kind of confusing. I'm not really sure how to build this. So, flip the wings down. And then... Pointing forward. Oh, that should do the trick. And they flip the wings down, just attach that to there, because you got all these little hole pegs on them. So, and in order to keep it on his back, you just unplug that um, and just I guess swing the whip around. I should do it. Just plug the whole thing in. Plug the whole thing in his back. So that's something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, that's that's a load of ah uh, keeps falling apart. Seriously, some of these are falling apart more than uh, the Gaim figures, and you know this is newer, so you'd think they work out the kinks. But uh, there we go. So um, as we play, like the Gaim uh, action arms, I guess this would be called like action tires. Uh, action arms was a good replacement for the arms change series, like a cheaper, smaller version, budget version. Uh, this one is not a cheaper budget version of the Tire Cocon series. It just, like, the, the compatibility is just not really there. Um, Machine Chaser can't use any of the tires. Uh, type Speed can kind of use the uh, Technique stuff, but not really. Technique can't use Type Speed wire, uh, tires. Technique can only use Technique tires, which is a very big limitation. He can't use the tires from anyone else. Um, Wild can by default use all the tires on his shoulders um, and no one else can use his. It's not like the Gaim stuff where the foot armor is com uh, completely uh, interchangeable. And that totally sucks in my book. So uh, if they have a uh, drive arms that comes out, you know, like the Gaim stuff, then I'll pick that up. Um, but I don't see myself, hopefully, not picking up any more of this series because it isn't very good uh, in terms of playability. They do look kind of nice with all the colors already painted on them. And if you're good at painting, you, you, you know, you might still want to, like, if you, if you just want figures that you can paint, um, like little kind of minor model figurines, uh, by all means, go ahead. That's that's probably the best, big biggest reason to get these. If you're looking for a cheap version of like tire change for kids to play, uh, this one really isn't it. It just doesn't really work too well, so you might want to pass. So yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. Of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye.